Hi, uh, YouTubers. God, does my eyes ramble. Um, kidding. That was a joke. Just because it was an hour long vlog, he, that was. He just paused it. <coughs> I'm just joking. Um, I'm just stating the fact that it was an hour long. Ish. Um, anyway, I have some bullet points um, that I'm going to talk about. About what he was talking about. Okay, so the first one, Theatre Royal. Kieran is right, timing is all wrong. Because I got my shop, I basically I, I do my shop in 10 till 12. So to do, to go to the Theatre Royal, the Theatre Royal starts at 1, it's going to be near impossible. So I've got to go home, pack, unpack the shopping, pack my lunch, and then wait for buses, and then walk that distance from the bus station, the Theatre Royal, timing's all wrong, so he's right, I'm not going to do Theatre Royal, um, so he's, so he's right, I'm not going to do it, timing is completely wrong, um, and I'll come back to different points, but the next one is, his bit of the play, about seeing the tree and and um, being taken in a a viral land, and then um meeting um the wish some things. I liked it. Honestly, I did. I liked it. Before I carry on this vlog, I have to stress that I might be in pain. Um, I actually mentioned it here, something went forward, because I had the injection on Tuesday to make sure that I don't get pregnant, so I'm due to be on my, mm -hmm, any day now. Okay. Okay. I've had a word with Jay on Thursday about posting videos. I've had this dog before. And I... And... And because it's going to be me that's back at Spectrum, they're probably aiming at me. Basically, you know, been there, done that, got the t shirt. I have said what I said on YouTube and I got away with it, basically. But since I'm back, I'm probably in the talk at me. Uh, I did nothing wrong with these vlogs. I'm expressing my feelings, they're called vlogs for a reason. They're about who about me, how I feel. And I do and yeah, it's about me. It's um it's about my feelings. So I don't think I did anything wrong. And I didn't actually threaten anyone in any of these videos. So I'm not like that. And neither is anyone else actually. Uh, I learned from my mistakes when I did videos about Adam because when I was going out when I was going through the breakup with Adam and I realised he had YouTube like me, um we would do back and forth videos, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth where basically we'd dig at each other like he'd call me names, I'd call him names, that sort of thing. I read that I won't show one later. Um, because he was doing another vlog. Um, so, so I learned my mistakes when it comes to Adam, that we can't dig at each other, so that's why I don't, okay, okay, 
my hormones are all over the place. Uh, the last couple of days, I've been clingy and over friendly and um, loving the last couple of days. I noticed that. This is my hormones, I swear. Oh, especially when I've had the same talk with me that they've had with Kieran. And I'm still here. I am going... Well, I'm not saying anything about that sentence because I actually talk about it later. But, um... I'm still here for the time being. And I've had this talk with me so many times. Oh, yeah. My support knows I'm friends with Kieran's, but my family do not. It's because I don't really tell my family and everything that's going on in my life anymore. My support knows because I see support every day. I see Lisa today at one or three today. Um. So yeah, my support knows, but not my family. I'm completely honest. My family would be fine with it. Um, because it's my life at the end of the day it's up to me what I do and because I've got the extra support now every day they help me as well I'm going to talk to my mum I'm going to talk about my mum for a minute Um. well it might be more than a minute I'm going to talk to my mum talk about my mum and her will Basically, she told me this years ago, but, um, about her will, because she was setting it up. The first 5,000 goes to my brother, John, because John helped mum out with money right in the beginning to get a house sorted. So the first 5,000 goes to him. Then anything else gets divided between the, 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 the four of us, me and my three brothers. And then we take, and then basically take a pick of whatever's left, like um, whatever thing that presents mum to us, that's what we get. She's made that will and she's stuck to the will. She never changes it. She, um, we might get married, we might get divorced, we might get partners. But to make it simple, my mum leaves the partners out of the will all the time. Um, for, for instance, all the girlfriends that my brothers had are left out. All the boyfriends I've had were left out. Even engagements, they were left out. Completely honest. <coughs> Mum does it simple, basically. She leaves the partners out the will and just focuses on the family. I don't do a like dig there, but I'm not going to. But that's how my mum does it. And that's how I'm going to do it as well. I'm going to focus on the family. I'm not going to focus on um, the partners or anything of my brothers or anything. I'm just going to focus on the family. And that's how everyone should do it. It's just stick to one will and be like, okay, you can be friends with whoever you want to be friends with. You can go out with whoever you want to go out with. But at the end of the day, they're not getting anything. It's you. You're the one that's going to be getting all my money. That's how I'm going to do it. And that's how my mum does it. The basic focus on the family. Don't change it, mate. One will. and Because relationships come and go, man. Divorces can come and go. Marriages come and go. What sticks is the family. And, and what you should do is just have one will for your family and not change it. That's how I'm going to do it. Okay, and my mum does as well. Morbid thing to talk about, but yeah. Oh yeah, and I like being friends with my ex, Ewa Kieran. It's fun. I just wish my other ex, <laughs> Adam, could be as grown up as Kieran. Because, in, because me, I didn't know this could actually happen. It was a learning curve for me as well. But I can actually be friends with an ex. I didn't think I could, because feelings would come up and everything, but you can, you can actually be, be friends with an ex. And I'm liking it, I love being friends with Kieran. 
Um, oh, now I'm going to talk about the play on Thursday. I did a play on Thursday with the Tristan Ducks called Rise of Australian Nurse. I woke up at 5 to get the bus at 6.40. No, to get the taxi for 6.40, yeah. And then I then it took two and a half hours, I think, from Heaton to Leeds. Then we had something to eat. Then I got home because the taxi gate took us back to Leeds, took us back to um, Heaton. So I had to get another two buses from Keaton to my house. I didn't get home until around half six. God, I was mad. I don't know because there was bus was late, so it was more like seven actually. Because the first bus was really late. Because yeah, it was so late. So yeah, I was late to get home. But luckily, my outreach was not until eight o'clock that night. But I was knackered. On Thursday, but the play went great actually. We had people from Newcastle there. We had uh, we had tears. We had standing ovations. It was so emotional because Fiona cried, Dan cried, I almost cried because it was my first couple of days of the medication. So. I think, I think it was the first couple of days after medication, and it reminded me that when I was doing that vi- that, so- that video right at the end, because I saw the ring a couple of times, that I was still engaged to Kieran during that time, and I was so happy. So I almost cried because I missed Kieran when I saw that video, of how happy I used to be. Yeah, that play went great. Now I'm going to talk about yesterday. God, was it busy. I thought, I'll just nip in at Newcastle, buy the tickets, and probably go to Clooney to, to buy the uh, Saturday get me tickets. So I phoned up. Um, I was on my way to the Clooney too, but I still don't know what it is because um, when I got to Newcastle, it was so packed, I couldn't ha- I couldn't go to a new place with it being that busy. So, I was in tunnel vision at that point. Luckily, I had the babies with me as a barrier in front of me, which I'm so glad I did, because I almost freaked out a couple of times with how busy it was yesterday. I, I'd been lying straight at the Theatre Royal, but unfortunately they had a play on. I think it was the panto, the panto was on. So I had to wait for the queue to go down from the panto, I bought the ticket to see um, the Tuesday Academy on Tuesday. Um, and then, with the two of them, Respite and Love to Hate. And it will be being the baby thing again, because I'm just, I just see it being so packed again in town. Not the play itself, but in town. Um, so I'll need something as a barrier yeah, to be freaking out. But Tuesday's supposed to be a difficult day for me because when me and Kieran were seeing each other, we said that the first time that I see Kieran in a play that I'm not in, we'd still be together. But we're not. So that's going to be difficult for me. My friend Jess did say about meeting up after the plays, but to be honest, because of the crowd that's going to happen in Newcastle and because of seeing him in a play when I'm not actually with him, it's going to be difficult. It was hard when I did it with Adam. Why do you think I wore Adam's favourite dress? The Amanda dress. Um, and Adam freaked out. He was shaking and couldn't get his words out. That was the first time he's, I'd seen him act since the breakup. And I don't know what Kieran's going to be like. Um, he might be the same, he'd be, and he might be the same, like shake and knock these words out. And the com- the girlfriend and me would want to comfort him, but I can't because we're just friends. And I like that we're just friends. And I'd love to show from the rooftops that we're just friends. And that's all I'll ever be. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh yeah, I'm not going to fresh. I, I did think about it, but I'm not going. I did think about going to uh, the youth academy for, uh, plays as well, but it's too late at night. Basically, that means me hanging around. Because the, the two plays that are the Theatre Royal ones finishes at 2. And the youth academy doesn't start until 7.30. So I'll be hanging around for two, three, four, five hours, and I can't do that. Even at my best attempts, I couldn't do that. So that's why I'm going to go home. But yeah, I'm still not going to fetch because I have the babies with me. I'll need the babies with me because it'd be such an emotional day. And I'll probably do a vlog on the way home, actually. Okay. I'm, I'm going to talk about the past now. I've been with Spectrum for around five, nearly six years. And a lot of people have come and gone throughout the years. We had helpers from Spectrum helping out um, in the beginning. I think it was Mark, Fiona, and even Alex helped out a little bit with Spectrum in the beginning. But we also had, I can't remember the names very well, but I do remember one was Posh, one knew where Vera was going to be filmed every time because he was extras um, one was Jess's, one of Jess's friends called Phoebe she tried it out for a couple of weeks didn't like it and left but we've had so many come and go there's one that's like Echo Tech Guy he now works at, Al at Alpha Betty doing tech it's so cool Um. But a lot of people have come and gone, and I miss every single one of them that I have met remembered. But even if I haven't remembered you, you probably won't. You probably got a space in my heart somewhere. So made impact. They've made impacts. Every one of them in my heart, and I miss every single one of them because we've had so many come and go from Spectrum. That's the thing. They come and they go. I'm the last remaining original. I have to meet Sarah. Then, after Sarah, it goes Kieran and Leia. Then Chris and Pat. Then Chris and Pat. And have people join the spectrum. We need more people in spectrum. We do. Um, but yeah, everyone that's left Spectrum, I miss you. I do. I've made a decision. I've made a decision. After this play in September, because I am not enjoying it anymore, I've made a decision. After this play, I'm gone. But I'm not gone from the ducks. I am gone from Spectrum. Instead, I'll go to theatre. I will go to... In September, I'm going after the play. I'm leaving Spectrum 100%, and I'm going to DJ Academy in September because I can't. I just I can't hack it anymore. We praise P and push back for about a year from the time we say we do it to um people not turning up to things going on backstage that's winding people up at Spectrum. It's just the extra drama is what we don't need. So that's why I'm gone. I said it I said this before and I'll say it again. But I mean it this time. I quit Spectrum um after this play. Because it will, the play we're probably working on next will probably be the following September, which is just too long away. I'll still be there doing the doing twists and ducks and everything, but I'm not going to be doing Spectrum anymore because I just can't. I'm just not enjoying it anymore. 
it wasn't for Kieran and for the and Squishy and Pat and well the people. It wasn't for the people that everyone that's there at the minute. I probably would have left you earlier. I was seriously thinking about leaving um those are times. But this decision sticks. <coughs> After this point in September I'm gone. I'm gonna do the DJ Academy instead. But my but I am not gonna do it um any other groups until then though. Cause the timing is all wrong. You know, it just looks to do so many things. I, there's just so many things I can do at the minute. Because mm-hmm. my days are so busy. I, I did think about doing the Morbid Academy again, but I just don't think I can get up early anymore on a Friday. Okay. So yeah, that's my decision. I am. I have left spec. I will leave Spectrum after this play to do the DJ Academy. So um, I'm gonna not request any money each week. So I'm gonna request some money each week because I am gonna request three hundred. When when I see Carol on the tub. Actually, no. I need to tell my brother. And ask him if this is a good phone because I was given there was a deal on a phone so that means I only had to pay three pound packaging and it's a Samsung S ten I think I don't know if that's a good phone um so that will save off on how much I've got to request from Carol so I want to cost a hundred for Christmas presents um I've got so many to pay for because my family's so big. I've still got to buy a birthday present as well for my uncle. Not my uncle. My granddad. My granddad. Anyway. Um, I don't know what that means by that, so I'll say that. It says I am more talker than action. I don't know what I mean by that. Maybe because... I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Near the end of the vlog, Kieran didn't name me as well when he was going to say goodbye to, which, you know, it's certainly a little bit. I wanted to be named. He named Squishy, he named Pat, he named nearly everyone apart from me. Please name me. So you could going to say goodbye to me. Unless he's saying that because he's not going to stick it out. To the air for that long. But yeah. I don't see myself as I I can see September play me going. That's how it's gonna go. So yeah, I was a bit upset when Kieran didn't name me when he was saying, I'm gonna take about this person, this person, this person. Why didn't he name me? Oh when I do leave I will say goodbye but not to everyone. Because there are Ooh, there is one or two people that and um, God I'm not I'm glad I'm leaving. It's a drama. Oh yeah, this is a crush. This is something I want to stress to Kieran. I know he will find someone else. Like I will find someone else. But I want to make a. I want to make a deal with him. If we can. When we do find someone else please don't flirt in front of each other I won't flirt with my boyfriend in front of you if you don't flirt with your girlfriend in front of me that is how this is going to work I think because it will hurt each other too badly because that's why we were with each other so if I'd, I'd love for that to work if we do get another partner, we don't flirt with that person in front of each other, then it will work, I think. Even though I think you're more attracted than me and you'll find the partner first. I don't see I do. I think you're going to find a boyfriend. A girlfriend, sorry. Girlfriend. I know that you're going to find a girlfriend first before I find a boyfriend. 
I think. Because you're more attractive than I am. But when you do, please don't flirt with her in front of me. It would upset me way too much. I might say that it isn't, but but that's the front. It would hurt me. So, if I don't flirt with mine, uh, please don't flirt with yours. If it wasn't for Spectrum, me and Kim would not be friends, I don't think. Unless we went there, uh, like, fresh together or, well, fresh as friends or see plays as friends. If it wasn't for Spectrum, me and Kim would not be friends, I don't think. Oh yeah, when you do videos, Kieran, don't see my friend. I know it's something you might be used to saying now, but I would like you please to name me. Say Emily, because I'm naming you. Please name me, say Emily, Emily, Emily. Because I don't mind you saying Emily this, Emily that. I want you to. Please, if you can, say Emily this, Emily that, not my friend. Because I prefer for you to name me. Because if you just say a friend, it could be anyone. So please name me in your videos. Oh yeah, I need to say a public apology. I am sorry. The last couple of weeks, I've not been myself, all right? I sent messages to you, and I am sorry for doing that. My feelings have been all over the place, even before the injection, because you've been nice to me. In fact, uh, I want, I've been sending you so many texts. But I want you back and I love you and I'm going to fight for you and things like that. And at the end of the day, I shouldn't have sent them because we were better as friends. I was just having bad days that day, those days, I think. So I do apologize. I am sorry right here, right now for sending those messages. I don't know if you got them or not, but they were kind of, I want you back messages. Which I actually don't actually believe. I don't actually mean it. If I could have you back, uh, the problem would still be there. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. But <laughs> look, I had to take the t shirt off Emily so I could hug her. Because <laughs> with the t shirt on, it's all sparkly and everything. See, all sparkly. So I couldn't really hug her. It's sparkly and itchy. So I had to take it off. So that's your treat. A topless Emily. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this. Maybe I'll just call this blibberlabob or something. Or ramblings or. I don't know. Surprise! At end. Yeah, I'll just call it surprise at end. Later, as.